The recent rally in gold prices is not merely a fleeting trend, but a harbinger of deeper shifts in the global economic landscape. Like a caged canary, the precious metals ascent is sounding an alarm that investors and policymakers would be wise to heed. At the heart of gold's resurgence lies the specter of inflation, an ominous force that has long been suppressed but now threatens to rear its head. Despite the Federal Reserve's steadfast efforts to tame rising prices, a confluence of factors, from fiscal stimulus to supply chain disruptions to the capital-intensive transition to clean energy, conspire to fan the inflationary flames. Even the graying of the baby boomer generation, with their disposable income and penchant for leisure, could add fuel to the fire. Yet inflation is but one facet of gold's allure. The yellow metal has historically served as a safe haven in times of turmoil, a tangible asset to turn to when the stability of the status quo is called into question. And make no mistake, the world stands at a pivotal juncture, a crossroads where the certainties of the past are giving way to a new, uncharted terrain. The Washington Consensus, which once envisioned emerging nations embracing free market rules dictated by the West, now lies in tatters. The Pax Americana, the post-war order underwritten by American hegemony, is fraying at the seams. Trade tensions between the West and China are escalating, fueled by a growing realization that the weaponization of the dollar in the wake of the Ukraine conflict has only hastened the search for alternatives. In this shifting landscape, Gold has emerged as a hedge against the might of the American financial system. China, in particular, is leading the charge, divesting from treasury bills and amassing gold reserves as a bulwark against the dollar's dominance. A recent tweet by economist Brad Setzer underscored this trend, noting that China's holdings of U.S. financial assets as a share of its GDP have fallen to levels not seen since its accession to the World Trade Organization in 2001. This exodus from the dollar echoes the unraveling of the Bretton Woods system in the late 1960s, when European central banks began to exchange their dollars for gold, presaging the precious metals sustained rally from 1968 to 1982. History, it seems, has a penchant for repeating itself, albeit with a modern twist. Just as Richard Nixon's import tariffs in 1971 served as an unofficial devaluation of the dollar, Donald Trump's proposed 10% across-the-board tariff on imports, should he win a second term, could herald a similar depreciation. Even the Biden administration's recent overtures to Beijing regarding Chinese dumping betray a growing concern over the competitiveness of American industries and workers. Regardless of who occupies the White House, a weaker dollar would only further bolster gold's appeal, as the precious metal has a tendency to rise when the greenback falters. But perhaps the most compelling case for gold lies in the parlous state of America's fiscal house. The Congressional Budget Office's projections paint a bleak picture, with U.S. debt projected to reach an unsustainable 172% of GDP by 2054. Such a scenario could unleash a perfect storm of monetization, inflation, and financial repression, a period of chaos in monetary policy and markets that would undoubtedly send investors flocking to gold's shelter. Some may cling to the hope that inflation could erode away a portion of the debt burden, but higher interest rates would only exacerbate the fiscal unsustainability, as asset prices and tax receipts tumble. In this precarious dance, the Federal Reserve may ultimately be forced to capitulate, lowering interest rates to avert a debt death spiral, as gold bull Luke Groman has posited. Such a move, in turn, would only further stoke the flames of easy money, casting another favorable light on gold. In this strange moment of economic and political paradigm shifts, it seems that nearly every path leads to gold's ascendance. The glitter of the precious metal is not merely a fleeting fancy, but a warning sign, a signal that the global order we once knew is giving way to something new, something uncertain, and something that demands a reassessment of our investment strategies and economic assumptions. For those with the foresight to heed this ounce of caution, the rewards could be golden indeed.